Ugh, Horde night. Oh yeah. Yep. This is Horde night. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. What is up the world? What up, peeps? It is your friendly neighborhood Slipgator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things, back with some more Seven Days to Die. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for coming to hang out with me. We just had a dog horde come through, man. Delicious, rotten flesh. Uh, yeah, thanks, guys, for coming to hang out. Make sure if you're having a good time today. You don't have to do it now. Wait a second, but when you're ready, hit that thumbs up button. Show your support. And thanks for all your support on the previous seven days videos. Yes, we had a dog horde come through, and I thought to myself, Self, this is the perfect time to bring the peep back in. The peep? The peeps back in and show them what's going on. Uh, so the repulsor field stuff is working great. The um, turret things are going perfectly. Uh, and yeah, we're getting prepared for the day 28 horde. So just about a day away. I uh, have a little bit of time. And this is, mm, yeah, I think the more we play, the more advanced we get. It feels like we have a little bit more downtime between hordes, which I don't actually like. I don't like having any downtime between hordes. I like it to be like pressured the entire time. But uh, we have a uh, you know a couple of things in the uh, couple of things in the old settings changed around here, so it's making it a little bit easier for us as far as XP goes. Oh, I'm out of stamina. No, it's no problem. Coffee time, just like I did in real life this morning. All right, so uh, we're gonna grab these guys. Oh, there's a wolf over there too. Some hot meat action, dude. The dogs brought a wolf. I wonder if the dogs were hungry, <clears throat> like the wolf. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed some stuff in my old inventory here, and we're going to head over to the trader. One of the things that you guys do uh, not see all the time is I do things sometimes that you don't see. That's why you don't see them all the time. Uh, I go to the trader. I do stuff and things like that, but a lot of times people leave comments like, Slipgator, you should go to the trader. Yeah, no, I know. I'm going to the trader right now. We have a couple things to sell, and um, I'm getting a bunch of stuff done over at the base, and I think what I'm going to do is try to take some of the time we have today uh, because we have a little bit of extra time today and a little bit of time tomorrow to just get a couple of things done around the base that don't have to necessarily do with making the base more defensible or making the horde base more defensible. Although, I will say, that's a lie because I actually will be doing some horde base upgrades today. I want to get some stuff done uh, and get some more steel up over there, but I, I already did a little bit, but I want to get a little bit more. So let's pop over here and take a look and see what's the trader got for us. Well, let's do this first. First and foremost, may I see your inventory? Uh, why don't you buy that for a, a dollar? Uh, let me see here. You can go. All of that can get sold. Those guys, those guys, those guys. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Those guys. So right there, 52,000 dukes. Get on my level, team. Motorcycles, grade digger mod. Grandpa's forgotten, forgetting elixir. We don't need any of that. Magnum enforcer. Whoa, whoa wait a second. AP44 ammunition. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want that. Dude, I need the AP stuff and things. We already have that guy. Let me pop down here. Oh, man. He doesn't have a lot of stuff and things over here. There's not a lot of good stuff for sale. Let's pop inside of here just really quickly and see anything worth anything in his regular deal. Doesn't look like it. Just all the stuff and things that I sold him. But we got this guy. So that's AP 44 ammunition. I really need AP shotgun ammo or AP 7 millimeter, which I don't think that we can make. Um, let me see here if we were gonna go. So if I AP period. Yeah, like that. So shotgun ammo. Oh, I can I can do it with regular bullet tips gunpowder and scrap polymers and I can make shotgun AP slugs Dude, I didn't know we could do that. We should do that Um, and then the 762 I can't make which would really be nice I would love to start getting into that but for the shotgun We definitely should be doing that there. So I didn't see anything else inside of that. that I'm really interested in um, and here's another thing. We're running, well, we're not running low on brass, but I haven't been smelting up a lot of brass. Now, I don't know if you know this about me. Uh, back in the, uh, in the olden days, in Minecraft, um, I discovered I have a little bit of a phobia, a little bit of an issue with side torches. If you don't know what side torches are, it's fine. It's kind of like a dirty light switch. Uh, they're gross, and no one should have to deal with it, and it's disgusting. It's a disgusting, disgusting problem. Uh, and I also find smelting dukes to be similarly disgusting uh, Put in the comments section here if you smelt your dukes So we'll know who is a dirty dirty duke smelter. Uh, I don't want to ever have to smelt any of my dukes because 
Money is important, uh, and saving it is the most important thing that we could do. This is a long shot. Oh, don't be so mean. Uh, so yeah, I don't want to have to smelt any dukes. I find it to be repulsive. Um, so I was taking a look at our brass situation, and it's not looking great, but it is it is what it is. All right, uh, uh, food. Let's go ahead and drop you into there, and then you, 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 and you. All right, so we got a bunch of oil now. I have a lot of iron. Um, over inside of here, cement is looking good. We got a good amount of that, and I've already got a bunch more inside of here. I think another 4,000. Uh, over here, we are looking at... Oh, yeah, there's nothing in there. But here's more forged steel. And we want to have a lot of this, because I'm really feeling like we might have some problems over at the Horde base. Uh, we're getting to a point in our game stage here, game stage 171, uh, if we don't get demos from this horde, I will be shocked. Um, and we did something a little bit questionable in this design. And I don't know if any of you guys, uh, I can't remember. Oh, wait, excuse me? Are you, how? What are you doing inside the horde base? Who, how did that even happen? You spawned inside the horde base. I think they're trying to infiltrate. Maybe she was trying to see Dude, there's no way I'm gonna hit this guy. His brain is all over the place. Um, maybe she was trying to infiltrate our base. Maybe she was trying to take a look at what we got going on inside of here. That could have been exactly what was happening. All right, so, <clears throat> well, hopefully she didn't learn too much about the secrets of our amazing horde base. Uh, but the questionable things that are going on in this base are the blade traps. Now, uh, if the demos come, the blade traps, and, and there's a couple of different reports around the campfire, around the around the uh, internets about these guys. Some people are actually are saying that blade traps won't set off demos at all. I'm pretty sure that they will set off demos. Um, and so that's something that we have to be really, really careful of. Um, if they do, I want a lot of this stuff out, out here to be set up as steel. And then that way, if it's all steel, it could take a little bit more damage that way. Um, so there's a bunch of this stuff out in the front here, the first line of defense. I think that we want to have upgraded the steel so that if we do have a demo that comes in all the way, how, seriously, how are those side, what is that? How is this a thing? Uh, so if they do come in um, over here and they explode, we'll have a, you know, a decent amount of um, steel parts here to offset that explosive damage. Uh, I think we want to do that out here as well. We're going to go ahead and get these guys going. Like so, maybe all the way out to there, like that. I think maybe these three as well, like so. And then these three over here, like so. This should be good because I don't think we'll have anything exploding out in this way. Oh, we got another level. Over here, we'll probably have some explosions. And then we'll save some of our steel. We won't use this or we won't upgrade this area back here. Uh, I do think this should probably be done as well. So I'm gonna upgrade all of this. I think maybe back to there. And then probably this piece as well. This should all be upgraded to steel too. So we have some upgrades to do. Um, but yeah, I have all day today and all day tomorrow to do a bunch of stuff and things. So I feel like what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do a bunch of stuff. Um, I have a couple of rooms at the base that I might work on. Uh, and I'm gonna get this guy upgraded quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure how much steel. I mean, this is a really expensive stuff. Like we just made a bunch, but upgrading all this is gonna be really pricey. Um, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to get done. Yeah, you just see right there. I think we just used 100, right? It's 10 each time. 10 steel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll do the best that we can. I'll do a bunch more smelting. We're going to do a bunch more uh, building. And then when we get closer to the horde, or I have something to show you. Uh, I'll be our bees, peeps. Closing in on the end of the day. 27 and... Oh, well, maybe I should show you this first. Okay, so uh, it's kind of ugly. I've never been a huge fan of the steel texture. Uh, it's kind of ugly, but... But it is what it is. You know, it almost looks like, I don't even know, from farther away, it almost looks like a stone of some sort. But uh, those of you who play Seven Days knows this is, uh, yeah, it's a thing. So I got all of the outside upgraded to steel. I've got all the inside here upgraded to steel. Some of the floors are upgraded to steel. Um, something that's changed that's a little bit weird is when I moved these guys, I made it so that it's a lot harder for me to see and reach these switches. So I have to actually switch them on before I kind of go back. So it's just something that I'm going to have to remember. I can't really get all the way. I can't, like, get to it before, you know what I mean, before I go back. So, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not going to really worry about it too much. Um, I could move this block forward, and then I could reach the switch. But I need this one to be back so I can get the repairs. I guess, I guess we could do that. Move all those up one block. 
I don't think you ever need to repair this side of the electric fence. You only need to repair this side of the electric fence. Speaking of... All right, I have some repair materials in my inventory here. So, uh, yeah, and also I think I still have the uh, volume down. Sorry to break the fourth wall for you. But, uh, yeah, I still have the volume turned way, way down because I was using the auger. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to call this guy done. That is what it is. It ain't going to be that big of a deal to have the switches not be in the correct spot. Uh, and I did a little bit of stuff and things over here. But mostly I did, I mean, mostly I just did some gathering and some, uh, I got a little bit of iron. I got a couple other things going down here, but I got a couple small rooms going over here. I put a shroom up right there. We're going to call this the shroom room. This is the shroom room, ladies and gentlemen, eventually to have more mushrooms in it, but I can't make them without, I need at least five mushrooms to make one mushroom seed. So I'm going to grow these guys and grow these guys. Uh, I also took, I think... Dude, is it called farm or something? No, is it called... I don't even remember what it's called. There is a... Living off the land right there, I do believe. Uh, craft seeds and berries get... Farm plots cost 50% less to craft. Craft seeds and berries for vegetables. I think there's one that allows me to get more stuff and things. I do believe it is off living off the land. Um, but yeah, I did pump a couple points into that. And I made an amazing bedroom. <gasps> Look at this. What? It's super amazing. It's just a little bedroom, actually. I did put a camera right here, though, so I can stream while I'm sleeping. Because that's the new thing all the kids are doing these days. They stream while they're sleeping so that they can make money by doing nothing. So, um, yeah, I think that that's going to be a good plan. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to watch the stream. I don't even know if I have... Uh, internet here. We might have to look into that too. But anyway, the shroom room and the bedroom are ready to rock and roll. Uh, started crafting up some bullets. Made these AP slugs. I got 250 of those bad hombres. So that is a total of 500. 500 total of the slugs for use in the shotgun, which I think we're going to use mostly um, while we're doing stuff and things for this horde. But the other thing that I want to take a look at here, we don't have a lot of mods. But what I do want to make sure we do is we use the best mods that we possibly can. Um, Iron Breaker, we don't really need. We have the weighted head mod already on this guy. This is the Shotgun Tube Extender mod. Increase the capacity of shotguns by five. So hold on. Let's grab that guy. This is obviously a good find. I didn't even realize that we had it. We'll modify that. We have the rad remover inside of there too. I don't use this gun too much on Horde Knights. So I'm not too worried about it. Uh, other than that, I don't think we have anything in here. Semi-mod, burst mod. I already have a bandolier on. Barbed wire mod, I cannot put on the sledge, I don't think. Muzzle break, I do believe we already have on, to, on there, like so. And then shotgun tube. Wait, did I have more than one shotgun tube extender and I didn't even put that on there? Looks like that I did. So we haven't really found a whole hell of a lot of other mods. And everything else I do believe is good. I was going to pull off the sledge, uh, the burning shaft mod, but I don't have anything to put into its place. I'm almost positive... I cannot put this. This will only go on clubs, right? I'm pretty sure. Modify. Yeah, no, we can't. It'll, so that won't be a thing. So we'll keep the burning shaft mod on. It's not that effective, but it is what it is. So mods are good. Ammo. Mm, let's just make sure that we're ready to rock. We got that ammo there. Let's grab some of that as well. Just so we have a ton of shotgun rounds. Repair kits. I got 15 of these guys. Just to start off the night, I'm going to go ahead and repair all of these. You know what? I'm going to repair that too. All of these guys, so we have full repair kits on everything. Now, I still have an entire other day, but I don't really plan to do very much stuff. I think we're just going to chill out. Um, I got some materials inside of here, and I've been making more steel just because I want to get everything upgraded as high as we can get it. Uh, though I actually have none inside of here, and I only have a little bit of parts. I'm going to bring those with me for repairs. We have cement. We have some iron. We have 300 steel. You know what? I think I can drop that in there, too. 300 steel. So let's go ahead and make sure we're making a bunch more steel. 140, 90. Yeah, they all should be right around 90 something something. Let's craft up all those guys. Like that. And then up inside of here, I think we have a bunch more cement. Uh, oh, something's going on outside. I love the sound of the automated ba base automatically automating. All right. Wait, what? Uh, uh, uh. I'll turn that guy on over there. So inside of here, we have a bunch of cement. We have a bunch of concrete. I think I can actually drop a bunch more of that off too. So that's all I got. Like, we're set. Like, I feel like we're pretty much set. We just kind of got to chill. Um, I think I'm just going to relax. I think I'm going to take a day off.
Just a few minutes left. Let's go ahead and switch that guy on. Doors up. Hatch is up. Let's go ahead and pop over here like so. Generator bank on. Electrical stuff and things are on. Let's pop over here. On. Close that guy up over there. You. On. Close that guy up over there. All right. All these bad hombres are good to go. We are good to go. We got about 10 minutes here, I guess. No, we want to leave these hatches open. Open, says me. We'll leave these doors open as well. Whoa! Stuff and things are already happening? What was that? What was that? Over there. Dude, there's just a random guy. Well, that was our first test. Those are definitely working. Uh, let's pop down over here. We got about six minutes until the bad hombre start to come in. Uh, all right. All right, here it comes. Listen for the beautiful sound of zombies dying. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The beautiful sound of zombies dying. Oh, the XP is just flooding in. I'm just going to I'm just going to swing my sledge just to act like I'm doing something. Things. 7,000, 8,000 XP. Dude, they're not even making it over here. What are you guys doing, man? Come at me, bro. I don't even want to go up to look because I'm worried if they're, they'll change their pathing. Hold on, let's pop up. Why don't we? Dude, this is just amazing. They're not even getting over to me. You stupid, dumb zombies. What are you thinking? Dude, we can just stand right here. This is my favorite kind of horde. Just the AFK horde. You know, why wouldn't you? Just AFK horde. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you can't AFK that much. Oh, please. Where are you at? Okay, we killed one guy. Seriously? Where are all these guys? They're not even getting here. Listen to the traps going ape. That is freaking next level, man. I love it. Are you guys going to come at me, bro? What are you guys even doing down there? Come on. Over here is where you want to be. Over here. I, I wonder if they're not coming towards me. I wonder if they're... Ooh, I hope they're not... They've got to be, right? They're, I can't tell. Uh, this is the confusion. I can't tell if they're coming down here and walking up the edge. Maybe we'll lower those. I hope they're not attacking my walls. I mean, even if they are, I guess it doesn't matter that much. Like, they can just do that, and I'll just hang out over here and get 65,000 experience points. <laughs> Horde night. Oh, yeah. Yep. I'm sword knight. <laughs> Work smarter, not harder. All right, I guess let's go take a look at what's going on. <laughs> I'm just kind of chilling. Uh, oh, oh, some of our blade traps are, are broken. Oh, well, I guess we'll just repair those. It's no problem. We'll just very cautiously and carefully hang out on the edge here and get these guys repaired. Uh, so far I've killed maybe three zombies. Uh, yeah, so it's not really a thing even. Let me see. These guys taking a little bit of damage. I mean, is that it? That can't be the end of the horde. That can't be it. Hold on. Let's not worry about that. Let's just go ahead and repair these guys. Make sure they're nice and sexually attractive and repaired. So far, so good. Oh, somebody's made it up front. Crap. Probably should, probably should take care of that. All right, hold on. This guy, I kind of do want to get these guys repaired. Hold on, let me see if I can make this happen a little bit more quickly. Like that, like that, like that. I just don't want to fall. If I fall, it's going to be really, really bad news. Can I repair them from up here? No, I can't. I have to, I have to go along the edge and then I have to duck uh, or crouch. Okay, I think the rest of these are probably all good. Let's head down inside. All right, all right, we got some guys finally. Okay, this isn't going too bad. Let's make sure this guy's, oh yeah, no problem there. Okay, we had a couple, we had a couple get through. Maybe we'll open these guys up. Uh, so, update, 1.30 in the morning. Everything's going perfectly fine. This is the easiest horde we've had so far. I'm going to turn the difficulty up to 1,000 after this. Uh, yeah, I guess we can do a little bit of looting. Uh, not bad, not bad over there. Okay, little hazmat stuff and things. 
Grab that guy right there. Turn that guy back on. Yes. Uh, this has been very much easy mode. Uh, really haven't had to do a whole hell of a lot. Oh, demos. Haven't had to do a whole hell of a lot. All right, this is where things are gonna get interesting. So the blade traps can set the demos off, but I don't think they're gonna make it over to the blade traps. So I think as long as they, or I don't think they're gonna be killed by the blade traps. So as long as they make it over here, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, everything's doing fine as far as like repairs go. Like almost nothing is actually really damaged. Uh, the blade traps are getting damaged, but I've just been going up there every once in a while and taking care of that And it hasn't been that big of a deal like right now. I can just pop up as long as I don't hear the traps going off I can just kind of go like so And check on these guys. I mean everything's looking really really good. Uh, excuse me Not okay Oh demo Hold on here. We gotta be careful easy mode Whoa, 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 I think we might have a problem. Oh, wait. Okay, I think a demo exploded. Maybe. I heard a big explosion. Uh, nothing looks damaged. Okay, do we get any damage over here? Nope. <laughs> nope, nothing looks really that damaged. Okay, I thought something happened. Sorry, guys, I thought something happened. Never mind. It took out my switch. So it took out the switch that was over there. Come on over here, bud. Uh oh, uh oh. Are you done? Are we dead? Are we good? So it took out my switch. This isn't wired up anymore. Hold on, do I have my wiring deal? Okay, we got a couple of things to do real quick. I'm wondering if I could just wire it directly. There we go. All right. Little emergency repair required. We found a chink in the armor as far as the switches. Uh, the front one doesn't really need a switch that bad. So it ain't no big deal. I haven't really been able to make it over to take a look at my traps for a second. I'm guessing that everything is still going okay over here. Oh yeah, no problems. Uh, okay, well, we got about a half an hour left. I could turn the horde back on. I don't think we necessarily need to. Like it's 30 minutes worth of bad hombres. I think I hear a couple other guys. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Maybe this is not a bad. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I hear somebody. Where is this guy? I'm scared. I'm wondering if there's going to be another little horde deal. It's, we still have a half an hour left. Dude, I hear some. Where is this guy? Do you hear him? He's got to be out here somewhere. Hold on. Let's pop up over here. Where is he? I don't even know. I don't see anybody. I hear him. Dude, he's, it's like, is he under the base or something? It's like an invisible zombie somewhere. Oh, he's hitting something. Okay, let's turn some stuff and things off here. I think we should be safe. All right, so we definitely got a bad guy. Oh, you know what I should do before we do any of that? I did loot some stuff and things. Let me throw some of this loot inside of here so I have some room. Okay, I think that should be good. Like that and like that. Uh, and that guy right there. All right, so there's definitely a bad ombre around here somewhere. I don't know where he is. Let's go ahead and drop these. Let's drop these. Where are you, bud? Dude, he's stuck under there. Got him. I got him. Secret zombie. All right, we got a couple other deals here for loot. Nothing major, nothing great. Let's see what we got. Oh, baby, what do we got here? Honey. Found out honey is natural antibiotic, blah, 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 blah. Sometimes have crown harvesting trees. What is this even going to do for me? I don't know. Let's go ahead and do that. Scrap that guy. Okay, the thunder is scaring the crap out of me. Oh, we found out how to make some dynamites. Nice. Right now, this is kind of my primary resource for knowledge. All right, some stuff, some things, nothing unbelievable and amazing. Let's pop over here. Mm, oh, baby, I'll take that. Level six steel sledge. Yes, please. Oh, can I not grab it? Oh, crap, I'm out of something. Hold on, let me, uh, like, maybe like that. Excuse me, why don't you go like this? No, right on top of there, bud. Oh, you can't do that? All right, fine. No, it's fine. 
like that and like that. There we go. All right, so we can get up over here, drop all of this crapola inside of here. That's the end of our horde night shenanigans. All right, all that can go away. Right there, level six sledge. Definitely worth doing the horde for. Oh, baby! Level six machine gun? Dude, we're playing a shotgun playthrough, but I can't not do that. Find more food and loot. Mm. I can't not say that I'm excited about that guy right there. Some nerdy glasses. Uh, level six hunting rifle. Scrap that. All right, so that was the loot. And let's take a look here. I did a lot of repair while I was doing stuff and things. Okay, that guy I can't repair from up there. Let's take a look over here to see. I mean, a lot of these guys, I did repairs throughout the night. I mean, this base is like next level. We had demos. They barely affected us. Let's take a look at all of our blocks. I mean, there's just a little bits here and there. A little bit of damage here and there. There's definitely some blocks that if I hadn't have been um, repairing them on the fly, they would have been a little bit more damaged. But I don't think anything would have actually been damaged to the point where it would have broke. Uh, yeah, this is all like easy mode. Oh, I didn't even upgrade these guys? What were you? Pff, why would you? Why do we even need to? I'll throw some upgrades on there to make it all even. Yeah, you can see out here, these blocks I hadn't been repairing during the night. I mean, this is minor, man. Unbelievable and amazing. Dude, I feel like ah, this is why I've been saying this on uh, every video. Um, but yeah, this is why Darkness Falls is where it's at. Darkness Falls, we just had a horde, the day 35 horde, I think, on the community server. Uh, and they overran our base. Uh, and there were 15 of us, I think, with with weapons and all steel base. And uh, it was day 35 and they annihilated us. Like, it was crazy. We, well, they didn't annihilate us. I think only a couple of people died that night. But we had to, we had to um, evacuate the horde base and get out of there. This thing is working really, really well. Um... Yeah, but that's going to be it for today. That's it, guys. I think I might... I don't know, man. been uh, threatening to do Darkness Falls playthrough. Um, at the very least, I think I might start to increase the difficulty. I almost want to just, like, AFK for seven days and skip to the next horde to see if it's going to be harder. Maybe turn some stuff and things up. We definitely need to make this more, more dangerous. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to make the next horde... Very exciting. We'll see how, if there's a way I can even do it. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure if you like the video you saw today, please don't wait wrong way. Please don't forget. Show your support. Smash the thumbs up button if you like impregnable bases. Uh, see you in the next episode, peeps. May the stuff of things be with you.